Hi guys and welcome, welcome back to this channel. I am Sylvia and first of all, I want to thank you for your engagement after my latest videos, especially the one where I'm talking about affordable Arabian fragrances. So this time I want to share with you something really, really special, still cheap and affordable, but different than what we can see around. Okay guys, so today I would love to share with you the whole brand actually. It is an Italian brand named Tesori d'Oriente. It means Eastern treasures or treasures of the Orient. So um, the first thing you have to know about this brand is going to be its quality to the price actually, which is ridiculously low. I mean the price because you can find them already at two euros uh, directly in Italy or depending when where you're going to buy them, I would say maximum 10 euros, 10 dollars. I saw them on uh, eBay, Amazon. You can check definitely their official website if they uh, ship to you. Otherwise, it is a perfect must have on your wish list as a souvenir once you're gonna travel to Italy. What I like this brand for is actually that once you find your favorite scent, you can have same smelling shower gel and body cream, if I'm not mistaken, or, or, or any anyway other cosmetics, and you can enjoy the whole ritual. I already spoke a little bit about its quality, but I would say it is better than many designer and even niche fragrances, because depending still on the fragrance that you're gonna choose, but more or less the longevity, it's gonna be always more or less the whole day, uh, projection uh, the first two to three hours it's gonna be a good projection then to pass to the medium low projection but still i can remember those fragrances out of my childhood and out of my italian holidays smelling mainly uh, woody spicy some of them uh, incensey super super powdery anyway the vibe and the DNA of those fragrances, it's been always something completely different than I could find on the market. And still nowadays, it is something really, really special. Anyway, nowadays, I can see that they are having still something different than only Woody and Incency. In fact, I'm going to show you a few of them that are quite fresh. And the last fact about actually directly fragrances, it's going to be their packaging and design, which is super characteristic and cute. I can tell that these are kind of, um, I don't know, you can collect them. They are all super cute together, super colorful, super detailed uh, packaging. And I personally love to have them always in my collection because of the metal packaging. Quite Mm, let's say small anyway there is 100 milliliters in here in here so the full bottle but anyway super comfortable to put it in the purse to have it all day long around the city and so right now i'm gonna show you some of them i have okay so the first one is gonna be talasso therapy and this is a super fresh smelling fragrance mainly what we are talking about it is a super aquatic marine salty slightly citrusy a little bit woody fragrance in the base, my must-have for the summer. The vibe it gives me is the same feeling as once you eat an oyster, which is still fish, but it has nothing fishy to it. And you uh, get this hint of freshness, marine freshness. So yeah, I really, really like it. Okay guys, so the next one, it is a forest ritual, which I actually really enjoy right now in the springtime. It is still super, super fresh smelling, but this time green with a, a huge woody, super woody base fragrance with some citruses opening the scent. But um, this time, I would say that many people, uh, they're gonna perceive it as a masculine scent because it is slightly spicy. Okay, next one, this is Byzantium. And we are talking about almondy, vanilla, uh, honey smelling. Gourmand scent, but still a perfume. We are not talking about anything literally to eat. Um, and it is also super powdery. Surprising one, because even though all those notes are quite sweet and quite heavy, anyway, it is quite enjoyable in the summer heat also. And last but not least, we have Egyptus, which is a super rich, floral, woody, fruity, spicy, but nothing too much 
beautiful, super, super, super well blended fragrance. Okay, guys, so as always, hope that you had some fun with me. Please remember to share any suggestion and opinion. Feel free to share with me your experience about this brand. Can't wait to hear from you. And I can't wait to be back to Italy. Actually, I would love to have the whole collection of Tesori Doriente, so can't wait to do some shopping. So once I did, you're gonna have update. And so, see you in the next video. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Ciao!